Lucas Eddie here with Climb, and today we're going to be looking at the newly redesigned Badlands Pro jacket and pant. This is our most robust, most feature-packed adventure gear on the entire product line and even in the adventure riding market. You guys are surely familiar with this product line by now, and we've taken it to another level this year. We've taken all the things that work in this product and we've improved it. When we look at ventilation, mobility, storage, all those things, we've improved them this year without changing the fundamentals of this piece that make it what it is. So there's a lot to go through here. We're gonna start with the jacket, then we'll move to the pants and let's get into it. First things first on ventilation in this piece, we've got our standard bicep vents here with, if you wanna turn a little bit, with the exhaust vents back here. This is on both sides. It really does let a lot of air flow through your arm, around your armpit, around your upper shoulder and flow through there and keep you comfortable. A big thing we upgraded this year in terms of ventilation is the wrist vent here. So we've got a double headed zipper. You can open the top, get some airflow in there, or if you want even more airflow, you open it from the bottom. This whole cuff opens up. It's found on some other jackets as well, like the Carlsbad, and it flows a ton of air through there. So I'm a really big fan of this, especially on hot days. You get a ton of air, even around hand guards, even around fairings on a big adventure bikes. It's all gonna flow through here still. So let's keep moving on vents. We've got one up here in the upper chest. Super easy to get to with your hands. When you're wearing the gear, you don't have to take it off. Same thing if you keep turning with these back exhaust vents here. If you're flexible enough, you can actually reach them behind your back and get to those vents and open them up without even taking the jacket off. We've got more vents down here on the lower torso as well. And then one of my favorite features on all of our products nowadays is this collar tab back feature. So if you don't mind me reaching up here with this collar tab back here, we've got these little elastic loops and you can hook them up on your shoulder right there. And it goes on both sides, lets more airflow into your upper chest, keeps the collar out of your way when the weather is hot, super easy to get to, big fan of that feature. So let's keep moving around to some more comfort upgrades up here. If you wanna turn around there, we've improved the gussets here on the shoulders. So it's really easy to move your arms. It's not so tight in the armpits, it's tight in the shoulders anymore. It's much more comfortable. More on the comfort note here, we've also repatterned some of the cut points and stitch points in this gear to make it more comfortable, to keep those pads lined up, keep everything comfortable, especially when you're in that riding position. Because when you're in that position all day long, standing or sitting, you don't want things to be bunched up and weird. That's what we designed it for. You can see as he's standing here, things are articulated for that position. So when you're standing up straight, like a weird mannequin, it's not gonna be as comfortable as when you're actually in that riding position being dynamic. So we're really proud of that setup there. Now, moving on to the pockets here in the jacket. One of the big things we did, we actually brought it back from a previous generation of Badlands. We listened to feedback from riders. People really wanted this internal Napoleon pocket right here. So behind the front storm flap, we've got this zipper right here. Helps keep things dry, keep them protected from the rain, easy to get to, and it's also hidden from the front view. But further on other pockets, we've got this spot tracker pocket here. You can put uh, an inReach or a spot or something in there, or earplugs, whatever else you want. Small pocket, easy to access. We've got also two chest pockets on the front here, behind these chest panels. And then further on the front of the piece here, we've got two lower hand pockets. They are gusseted so you can fill them up with snacks and all kinds of fun stuff, and they're not gonna slow you down, bulk you down. But the key thing here on the right hand pocket in there, it might be hard to see, but there is actually a built-in internal or organizer. And what is cool about that is you can put your wallet in there or something small and put other things around it and not have to jumble through your pockets to grab your stuff. So it's just an easier way to organize things when you're traveling and you've got a lot of stuff on your bike and your gear and everything like that. So one more note on the storage here, we do have our uh, stat card pocket that we put on every street garment. You can fit your ID card in there or if you have a medical card, put it in there. Uh, EMS personnel are trained to look for this symbol and look for that. So one more thing on the storage on the outside of this jacket, if you want to turn around again for us, we do have a cross back pocket here with zippers on both sides. So you can fit all kinds of stuff in here, extra gloves, maybe a map if you're still using paper maps, or maybe a small rain shell if you're gonna wear it when you're off the bike, up to you. We got a pocket back there, super easy to use. So the last thing to finish up here on the front is this molly panel right here. If you don't want to put your spot tracker or something small like that in this pocket, you can mount it up here. It's just a little added feature so you can have some more storage options for whatever you're going to do. Now let's move to the inside here. Again, I talked about this Napoleon pocket right there. And further inside here, we have these chest pads, which we'll get to in a second. 
but we do have more pockets. We've got a lower hand pocket right there, same thing on the other side, and then we also have a small organizer pocket up there. And then behind the back pad, there's actually a small document pocket if you wanna hide your passport or something else inside the back of your jacket, maybe like your bike papers or something like that. It's more protected, you're not gonna to have to mess with it all the time, like your pockets on the front of the jacket. So back to the pads on the inside of the front of the jacket here. These are XRD impact absorbing foam. It's a light perforated yellow foam. It's gonna help absorb those impacts on the front of the body. But we also sell a D3O upgrade pad that we can stick in there uh, if you wanna buy those separately and have a thicker, uh, higher impact absorption level on the front. Anyways, we do still have our D3O Aero Pro pads on the shoulder and on the elbow and in the pants as well. And these are custom formed and fitted to both sides of the garment. So they're not uh, replaceable to both sides. The left side is only for the left side, the left shoulder is only for the left shoulder and so forth. So it gives you a much more complete coverage around those extremities versus having a pad that is universal for all sides. So the last thing in terms of safety on the outside we have to note here is the 3M carbon black reflective, which is here and up there and in some other key places such as inside those gussets on the shoulder. And what this does is it just looks more low profile when it's not being hit by light. Um, so it's not silver all the time. It's just a little bit more subdued uh, compared to the silver option. And the last thing to note here are the adjustment features. We've got these straps to help keep everything snugged up and in place, keep the pads where they're supposed to be. Uh, same thing with the cuff. We've got you know your standard Velcro cuff and a cinch up on the collar and all that. And one cool thing I really do appreciate on this is the leather cuff trim here. This is a new thing we've started doing. And there's a small little trim of leather here on the cuff and that's just a little bit more comfortable on your wrist compared to just a stitched cuff how it normally would be. So it's a nice little premium touch there, keeps you more comfortable against your hand even when you're not wearing gloves to help protect them there. And further on the comfort note here, if you want to lift up your arm and show the camera there, we do have this seamless gusset in there which is stretched Gore-Tex. So it's actually going to give you some more mobility, there's not that added seam down there in the armpit area, just again, more on the comfort features here, just to keep this more comfortable because it is a very heavy duty jacket. This is our most burly adventure option in the line right now. So with all that being said, that is the jacket. Now let's move to the pants. Very similar story here on storage improvements, fit improvements, and ventilation improvements. Let's take a look. Up here, we've got our standard huge thigh vent. Big intake right there, especially when you're sitting down, it really does open up and flow a bunch of air. And when you're standing, of course, it flows air in. And then if you wanna keep turning around, we have our exhaust vents right here. Pop those open, you get a lot of airflow through the leg. And if you wanna keep turning around still, we have these vents down here at the lower leg. These are new. And you pop these open and they really do make a difference. When you're sitting down and your leg is bent on the bike, these do become like, you kind of can pull them like this and they really do become an intake and you can feel that air flowing in there. I love this a lot, especially on hot days. So those are all the vents sitting up here. Of course, you've got our moisture wicking, breathable mesh liner in there, keep it cool and all that. Let's keep moving through some comfort features here. We've got this adjustment feature behind the knee there. That'll help keep the pants snugged up and keep that pad where it needs to be, that knee pad, which again, just like the jacket, uh, these are uh, side specific. D3O Aero Pro pads, they're level two, CE rated, vented, all that good stuff. Now we keep moving through here, let's get to that storage, which is what I was mentioning earlier. So we've got two thigh pockets, one on the left, one on the right side. And the one here on the left side, if we open this up, we have another organizer panel in there. My wallet is pretty small, so I stick my wallet in this larger pouch right here. It's super easy. It sits up here in the front where you can grab it because these pockets are deep. So you can put your wallet in there, easy to get to right on the front with gloves. Just grab it right out. And then further down here, you can have your snacks or whatever else lower down in the pocket. So it's a really nice storage setup actually. It's super easy to work with. And of course, you've got it all pretty protected from the rain up there. Further on the safety aspect here, of course, you've got super fabric in the knees. We've got the same engineered super fabric on the shoulders and elbows of the jacket as well, which you just saw. Got the armor in there, like I mentioned. Same with the hip pads, D3O. Oh, those are level two pads. And then back here on the seat, we've got this carbonite ripstop material. This is a 630 denier upgraded from what it used to be. Uh, same thing with some of those non-super key abrasion areas on the jacket. We've got that super fabric mixed with the body fabric, uh, which is that 400 denier fabric. Uh, for the most part, except for these lighter panels in here, which are a 200. So we've got a super nice gradient of abrasion protection here. We've got the key areas here with the super fabric. We've got the, let's say, secondary key areas, like the seat with that 630 uh, carbonite ripstop. And then we've got the 400 denier 
here in the other main areas. And then we also have the lighter 200 material in the areas that aren't gonna get impacted and abraded as much. So that's a nice overlay of how the overview of how these fabrics are working. And of course we have the leather inside the knee for that grip and that protection from the heat if you have an exhaust pipe that's running past your leg. And then if you wanna keep turning around there, we've got the same reflective situation as we have on the jacket, that carbon black. And then we've got these uh, zippered cuffs here. You can pop those open, adjust your cuff with the buttons down there. Uh, and these will fit over our Gore-Tex adventure boots. They'll fit over off-road boots, whatever you wanna wear, they're good to go. So as he keeps turning around, we have this, go ahead and stop right there. As we talk about storage, we have this Molly panel here as well if you wanna attach something on the outside of this pocket. So one pocket has the internal organizer, this other pocket has the Molly panel on the outside. This is standard Molly size, so you can attach things to the outside there as well if you want. So this about sums up the newly redesigned Badlands Pro jacket and pant. Super burly, super premium, feature-packed adventure gear, a lot of ventilation, our most ventilated Gore-Tex shell, actually, Gore-Tex adventure gear. Tons of pockets, tons of features, tons of vents. The point here is maximum everything for adventure. So if you guys have any questions, hit us up in the comments, find us on Instagram, find us on Facebook, find us on YouTube, subscribe, like, follow, all that fun stuff. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.